Since the mothers are unable to produce breast milk, what are some alternatives they could use? Um, and the first alternative would be to get breast milk from someone else who is producing breast milk. Um, whether it be from a breast milk bank or um, lots of moms make a lot of extra milk and many are willing to share. So that would be your first choice if you cannot produce any. Um, second after that would be to make a homemade formula, which there's a very precise recipe for that so that you're getting all real food ingredients. Um, and your absolute very last choice should be formula that you would buy in the store. What are some of the risks of using formula for your infant? Um, the risks of using uh, formula for an infant would be that uh, formula is not made with the exact nutrients and um, set up the way that breast milk is, which is what we really need for our bodies. Um, infants who are formula fed uh, generally will have a lower IQ. Um, they suffer more from diarrhea, ear infections, um, and they're more likely to die in infancy and childhood. Uh, they could be at a greater risk for Parkinson's disease, diabetes, and obesity later in life. Um, and pro uh, formulas don't have like the fructooligosaccharides, FOS, or probiotics that are real that are in breast milk. So formula fed babies generally don't have the same kind of healthy gut bacteria that from, uh, that breastfed babies have. So what are some of the mi vitamins or minerals that could be lacking when people are looking for formula or if they are looking into that option, what should they be aware of? Well, that? first of all, any vitamin or mineral that could be in formula is all synthetically made. So it's not from a natural source. So already your body doesn't recognize it like it would from a food-based mineral or uh, vitamin. Um, most Formulas do not have vitamin A, B8, B12, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, and so on, as well as minerals. So um, from lacking all of those vitamins and minerals, you're going to see health consequences in the long run. According to the National Association for Child Development, goat's milk is a great alternative to breastfeeding. Do you agree or disagree with this, and why? Um, I think it's a good alternative, however, goat's milk on its own is lacking the amount of B12 and folate that a baby would need for sufficient nutrients, um, so if you could supplement in some sort of way along with the goat's milk, a raw goat's milk that has not been pasteurized and its nutrients haven't been heated out, that's very, very important. Um, and also from a trusted clean farm is also very important. Um, but yes, I think it's a good alternative. Definitely better than a store-bought formula. Is there ever an instance that you would need to fortify breast milk? Generally, um, breast milk is a whole food source for baby and it should contain every nutrient that is needed for baby's proper growth and development. Um, however, if a mother is not eating uh, a good diet herself, uh, you could maybe fortify with a vitamin, um, but normally you would not need to add anything to uh, breast milk. Um, if mother, the mother should be consuming a good amount of uh, vegetables, um, some fruit, uh, good sources of protein, as well as healthy fats. Um, our brains are almost made completely of fat, so if you're not getting enough healthy fats, your brain suffers, and uh, children are developing their brain all along, so they need good amounts of fat. So um, you shouldn't really have to add anything to breast milk. Since you chose adoption, um, how did that affect your choice for nutrition for your child? Um, in adopting, I knew that uh, there was a chance that I could produce breast milk because you can bring that on through herbs, medications, and such, um, but I wasn't able to, so uh, breast milk was obviously my top choice in what to feed her. Um, I had friends donate breast milk to me who had extra supply, um, and then there is a worldwide organization called Human Milk for Human Babies. Um, and I tapped into the Pennsylvania chapter and I posted that I had an adopted baby and I really wanted breast milk and um, she is almost one and seven months out of her whole year she exclusively had breast milk. Um, the other months we made a homemade formula out of raw milk, raw cream, olive oil, coconut oil, uh, butter, fat, um, acerola powder, lactose, um, bifidobacterium, like a probiotic, 
um, and several other ingredients to make a healthy food-based natural homemade formula, which she did really well on. One time in an emergency case we had to give her formula um, and she promptly threw it up. <laughs> so uh, we wanted the best possible nutrition we could have for her.